Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatry course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2017 and we are doing this problem 31 of the section B. So it is a problem from integral calculus. Let us have a look. Uh, the volume of the solid. So we have a solid like this and we are trying to find out its volume. So we have these things, we have four options. What is the difference in these four options is the order. So order of the integral is changed. Firstly, we have dz dy dx. Then we have dy dz dx, dy dx dz. And last one is dy dx dz. So we have different order right now with us. Now, firstly, let us try to write this solid. So see, this is your two, uh, your solid that is given to you. And if you are trying to find out a volume with this order dz dy dx, now it is clear that z is in between 0 to x. Let us draw a two dimensional figure because there is no point of drawing three dimensional. I will tell you this, that there is no point of drawing three dimensional figure right now because limits are very much clear. All right. So let us say this is your uh, x, y plane right now for this option. I am dealing with option one. So I am telling you that for option one, this is your x, y plane. Maybe for other option, we will change it. But for right now, we have this as x, y plane. This is our x, y plane. Now, y is in between zero to two by x. So what is the graph that you know for two by x? The graph is something like this. All right, so the graph is like this. Now X is from one to two. It will never touch. All right. So it was my error. It was it will not touch here. So X is in between one to two. Let us say these are the two points that you have one and two. So X is in between one to two and Y is from zero to two by X. So this is the reason that you have in two dimensional plane. All right. So this is the reason that you have in two dimensional plane. So what will be the volume now? See, we have this dz here. That means firstly, you have to write the limits of z. Now, z is clearly moving from 0 to x. So that is why I was telling you initially that there is no need to draw a third dimension here because the third dimension is actually clearly showing us what is the limit. After that, what we have to do, we have to find out its projection and projection is totally dependent upon these two. All right. What what is on the base? So uh, so what, because see, try to think on this issue that whatever your surface is, if your base is like this, all right, what will happen? Whatever projection you will take, you will get the same result. Are you getting my point? Because everything this 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 surface is actually a straight line or you can say plane it's a plane now see here you have to move from y is equal to zero this is y is equal to zero and this is y is equal to two by x so you have to move from zero to two by x if you have dy here if you have dx then you have to move from see this line this to this line so from one to uh, two so that makes your option one correct option was actually showing the exact limit that we have written so it is correct now let us come to your b option in the b option you want your integral to be in this order in which order dy dz dx so firstly, see that the limits of Y are pretty clear. There is no confusion in it. So you will map, uh, you will write like this. Now for DZ DX, you have to draw in two dimension. All right. So this is our X Z plane now. So X in the X Z plane, you see that uh, your Z is from zero to X. Now see z is equal to x is the line so let us draw it clearly let us say that this is your z is equal to x line all right let us say so this is your z is equal to x line 
and your x is in between 1 to 2 let us say this is x is equal to 1 this is x is equal to 2 all right so we are moving from z is moving from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to x and x is moving from 1 to 2 that means this is your required reason all right this is your required reason so let us now quickly write it so you will get 0 to x z is from this base to this 0 to x and then you have from 1 to 2 so this is your volume so clearly b option is also correct because this is what is written there now let us talk about the c option all right in the c option you have this order dy dx dz this are this is what the order you have now why talk about y so the limits of y are pretty clear it's from 0 to 2 by x now we have to think of this two-dimensional plane on the two-dimensional plane see you have to firstly place the limits of x now if you will place the limit of x you have to move from this to this are you getting my point now because this is not a straight line not a straight line actually means that this is not a horizontal line now because this is not horizontal line for this thing to write you have to divide this area into two things are you getting my point or not so x is moving from this point to this point and x is moving from this to this also are you getting my point or not so if you are writing dx you cannot write it in the it in the form of single integral you have to add two integral let me add for you so suppose you have this then what you will do you will actually write 0 to 2 by x dy dx dz so this is your reason one in the reason one you are moving from 1 to 2 so let us write it properly that you are moving from 1 to 2 in this reason one z is from 0 to this line now see this line is z is equal to x so this point will be 1 comma 1 so this line to this line will be like this 1 to sorry 0 to 1 now you have to add for the second reason that you have so second reason is this now here x is moving from this this line z is equal to x y will be same all right i'm talking about x only so you are moving from this point that is uh, z so you are moving from z and you are touching x is equal to 2 so you are moving from z is equal to x to z is equal x is equal to 2 sorry x is equal to z to x is equal to 2 and c what is z here z is 1 here and at this point you have 2 comma 2 so what is z on the top it is 2 so you are moving from 1 to 2 so this will be your volume uh, this will be your volume if you are writing sorry if you are writing integral in this form so if your order is this this will be your volume so that proves that c is incorrect now let us talk about d option d option is telling you something different all right let us change the color so d option is telling you max of z1 so max of z1 you have to think of this so x is from max of z1 now see here up to here we have c firstly let me write it x is equal to max of z and 1 so this function is actually equal to 1 if z is less than 1 and if z is greater than or equal to 1 this function is equal to z are you getting my point so see on the graph let us see the same thing z is 1 here z is 1 at which point z is 1 at this point on this line z is 1 so that means below this line what will happen below this line what will happen your answer will be 1 
and after this line your answer will be z so see the same thing it is happening here in this reason you have instead of you have the limit of x is 1 it means the value of x is 1 so x is max of z1 if z is less than 1 so be below this reason below this line z is equal to 1 z is less than 1 so for this reason you are getting 1 and the same thing you are getting here also but if z is greater than or equal to 1 what you are getting according to this function you will get z and see here you are also getting z so this is the value of x are you getting my point so that means d option is also correct so d b and a are correct for this problem and c is incorrect option if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you